we are just discussing about the first topic from the organic chemistry reaction mechanism now in this topic we are going to discuss some of the important concept related to the structure and reactivity and that concept which help to explain the mechanism of organic reaction in the first part of this topic we have to study some reactive intermediates in detail and already we have studied first reactive intermediate carbocation now let us see second reaction intermediate carbanion now what is meant by carbanion let us see simple example suppose this is organic compound carbon having four covalent bond now in presence of polar solvent suppose it undergo heterolytic bond breaking and during heterolytic fusion if this electron pair goes towards carbon and carbon acquires negative charge while another atom that is x acquire positive charge okay this happen only when that carbon is more electronegative than x then it acquire that bonded electron pair and it gains negative charge and such negatively charged carbon species is called carbanion asha species la apan carbanion asa mhanto hai suppose this is a carbon which having negative charge okay now what is the property of that species here carbon having three covalent bond in carbanion carbon having three covalent bond means it is a trivalent carbon species then second point it having negative charge means there is a negative charge on the carbon okay now third point how many electrons are there in the valence shell of carbon there are three covalent bond means this bond having two electron second bond sorry this bond having two electron second bond also having two electron this is again having two electron means six bonded electrons are there while carbon having negative charge means again there is electron pair means totally that six bonded and two non bonded means though there are totally eight electrons in its valence shell okay this is third property in carbanion there are eight electrons in its valence shell okay and thus trivalent negatively charged carbon species in which carbon having eight electrons in its valence shell is called carbanion okay this is the simple definition the trivalent negatively charged carbon species which having eight electrons in its valence shell is called carbanion carbon having negative charge therefore it is electron rich species also due to negative charge it having negative charge therefore simply we can say that in chemical reaction it act as a nucleophile it is example of nucleophilic reagent okay and also in chemical reaction it having tendency to donate this electron pair there is a negative charge means electron pair and it can donate this electron pair to form a covalent bond with another atom and therefore according to the lewis theory we can say that it is example of lewis space it is the lewis space okay okay this is just about the introduction what is mean by carbanion and just some properties of carbanion okay these are the some examples of carbanion uh, first we will see what is the structure of that carbanion in short okay this is our carbanion carbon having three covalent bond there is a negative charge now in the carbanion the hybridization of central carbon is a sp3 we know that 1s orbital and 3p orbital they undergo mixing and recasting and there is a formation of four new orbitals and that type is called sp3 hybridization and that hybrid orbitals are called sp3 hybrid orbital in case of carbanion that central carbon having sp3 hybridization suppose this is our central carbon out of that four hybrid orbital three hybrid orbital form a three covalent bond means how that covalent bonds are formed the sp3 hybrid orbitals of central carbon overlaps axially with another atom to form three covalent bond okay now this central carbon also having sp3 hybrid orbital this fourth sp3 hybrid orbital of carbon having lone pair of electron this is the lone pair of electron which is present in that fourth sp3 hybrid orbital okay now the geometry what should be the geometry here geometry is a pyramidal and here bond angle is a 107 degree 
Here bond angle is a 107 degree. It is not exactly 109 degree, but it is 107 degree because there is a repulsion between lone pair of electron and bond pair of electron. This repulsion is a more than the repulsion between two bonded electron pair and therefore that standard tetrahedral bond angle is just reduced from 109 to 107 degree and therefore in the case of carbonyl generally the bond angle is a 107 degree okay this is about the structure of carbonyl hybridization sp3 then geometry is pyramidal bond angle is 107 and load pair of electron is present in the fourth sp3 hybrid orbital okay now let us see generation generation means how that carbanions are formed how that carbanion is generated during the organic reaction now let us see first method for the generation yes this is very common method abstraction of hydrogen by base we know that base having tendency to abstract hydrogen and there is a formation of carbanion. Let us see a simple example. Okay, this is example of organic compound. Okay, this is diethyl melonate. Now, it is example of active methylene compound. CH2 is the methylene group. It is attached from one side by ester group, from another side by again ester group. And suppose any methylene group is attached from both sides by electron withdrawing group. For example, aldehyde, ketone, ester, cyano group, these are the electron withdrawing group. And if methylene group, CH2 group is attached from both sides by electron withdrawing group, then that compound is active methylene compound. That methylene group is active in nature and that hydrogen atoms of methylene group, they becomes active and that hydrogens are acidic in nature. That hydrogens are acidic in nature. Now what happens here? When this active methylene compound comes in contact with the base, it can easily abstract that hydrogen from methylene group means that OH minus and that hydrogen from H2O. Here this bond between carbon and hydrogen undergo breaking that electron pair goes on the carbon and carbon acquires negative charge. Here this H plus and OH minus from H2O. I have written minus H2O on the arrow. Then carbon acquires negative charge and this species is nothing but the carbanion. That species is called carbanion. And thus, here carbanion is generated, carbanion is formed. How it is generated? By the abstraction of hydrogen. Let us say another example. Okay, this is cyclopentadiene. Cyclopentadiene. Again, when it comes in contact with the base, here this base abstract that hydrogen atom. Here bond between carbon and hydrogen undergo breaking. This electron pair goes on the uh, that cyclic carbon. And now that cyclic carbon acquires negative charge. And this is again example of uh, carbanion. And now this carbanion is more stable due to aromaticity. This is cyclopentadienyl anion. And it is aromatic. Why it is aromatic? Because it is cyclic compound. Then there are totally there are six electrons and thus there are 4n plus 2 pi electron and therefore that six electrons are delocalized in the ring and therefore that compound is a aromatic in nature and it is highly stable compound it is a highly stable compound therefore base can be easily abstract that hydrogen to form uh, corresponding carbanion which is more stable due to aromaticity okay this is the first method for the generation uh, carbanion how the carbanions are generated now let us see second method from unsaturated compounds yes unsaturated means the compounds which have been double or triple bond let us see simple example of unsaturated compound uh, ch2 double bond ch and there is one NO2 group at the end. Okay, now this compound when comes in contact with nucleophile. Nucleophile can be easily attacked on that terminal carbon. It attack on this double bonded carbon, means there is a formation of bond between nucleophile and CH2. There is formation of bond between this nucleophile and CH2. Now, to maintain the valency of that carbon, the pi bond between that two carbon undergo breaking and this electron pair goes on the next carbon and this carbon acquires negative charge. Here there is a formation of bond between this terminal carbon and nucleophile. While this pi bond undergo breaking an electron pair goes on the next carbon. Therefore this carbon acquires negative charge. Here this is the negative charge on the carbon while there is a new bond between nucleophile and CH2. Okay and we get that carbanion and thus nucleophile when attack on the unsaturated compound there may be formation of carbanion this is the second method 
for the generation of Cardanian. Okay, now let us see next one from alkyl halide. Again, a very simple method. Suppose alkyl halide, when it treated with the um, magnesium in the presence of dry ether, uh, this is a very interesting reaction and uh, there is a formation of R and GX. This is nothing but the Grignard's reagent. This is the organometallic compound, example of organometallic compound, Grignard's reagent. Now, in the Grignard reagent, there is a bond between R and Mg. There is a bond between alkyl group and magnesium. There is a bond between carbon and metal. And therefore, this is organometallic compound. Now, in this case, the bond is highly polar. It is highly polar. And here, carbon having negative charge and magnesium having positive charge. Means there is a negative charge on the carbon. Therefore, it is example of carbanion. Okay, this is, therefore, it is example of carbanion. And thus, alkyl halide on a reaction with magnesium metal in presence of dry ether. That reaction only takes place in presence of dry ether. This is formation of Grignard reagent, RMGX. Bond is highly polar and therefore carbon having negative and magnesium metal having positive charge and there is a negative charge on the carbon means it is carbanion. Okay, okay, this is just about the generation of carbanion.